I am doing the coffee book tag. So until recently, I never really cared about coffee. I mean, I gave myself a treat every now and then of a Starbucks Frappuccino or something because hello, Frappuccino. But otherwise, I wasn't that bothered about it. I was more of a tea drinker or like a hot water, honey, and lemon person. However, I recently discovered these nice little packs here which is vanilla flavored and it's amazing and now I have a cup of coffee a day and it's like my treat every day and I love it and so a coffee tag you know it's in effect it's in effect question one is coffee black name a series that's tough to get into but has die-hard fans so there is one series for me that I found quite difficult to get into I read the first in the series a year or two ago and I haven't gone on to the next one yet just because it was difficult to get into however I keep seeing things about this series and hearing things from all its diehard fans and they're making me think that I should continue with this series and that is Shatter Me by Tahira Mafi. I found that the writing style was just wasn't my preference. I think it's a personal taste thing because some people absolutely love it. I found there were just too many metaphors and prose throwing me out of the story for me to get into the story but then when I did get used to the writing style I did start to get into the story, I did start to enjoy the story so I kind of feel I would enjoy the rest of the series but I just I feel like it's a difficult one to get into and it definitely does have diehard fans. Question two is peppermint mocha. I have never had a peppermint mocha. I don't know what that is, but it sounds delicious. Anyways, the question is, name a book or a series that gets more popular in the winter or in the festive time of year. Only one book came to mind to me when I thought of an answer for this question. I don't know why, because it's not like a Christmas story or anything. And that, of course, is the Harry Potter series. I think perhaps because Christmas happens and you think of the Great Hall, you think of the twinkly lights and you think of the snow and Hogwarts and it's amazing. I don't know. I don't know exactly why, but I do see the Harry Potter series around a lot more often and people seem to be rereading it around that time of year. Question three is hot chocolate, which I absolutely love, especially when it comes with whipped cream and marshmallows on the top. And I realize now that's not coffee, but I, I love it and I appreciate it being in this tag. And the question is, what is your favorite children's book? Now, I'm thinking they mean children's book from when I was younger. I don't know, because now, I mean, Harry Potter kind of counts as a children's book, right? And that's, you know, <laughs> goes without saying. But I think for me, I'm going to answer this as in children's book when I was growing up as a child. Which one did I love? And that was probably any book by Roald Dahl or Eden Blyton. I just loved their crazy imaginations. I think I perhaps mentioned this before, but one of Eden Blyton's books was called The Faraway Tree. Absolutely loved it. I love Matilda. I love BFG. I love James and the Giant Peach. I love the witches. I love it all. So those, I think for nostalgia reasons, will and are and will forever be my favorite children's books when I think of children's books. Question four is double shot espresso. I do not like espresso. And it says, name a book that kept you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. I love books that do that, that keep you on the edge of your seat and you just don't know what's going to happen and you have to find out what's going to happen and you can't put it down and you're just like, ah! I love books like that and I've read quite a few of them recently but one book that springs to mind immediately when I think of a book that kept me on the edge of my seat where I actually had to just forget my TBR and just go to the next book in the series and the next book in the series until I found out what happened in the entire series before moving on to any other books is Legend by Marie Lu. This book just... I inhaled it and like just like and it was done and I was like okay I have to I have to know what happens next and this whole series not just this book but this whole series kept me on the edge of my seat from start to finish <sighs> legend is legend question five is Starbucks Woo -hoo -hoo. I am a big fan of Starbucks I go there every week and I sit for a few hours and I just do my writing and I have some frappuccino and I have some breakfast muffins and it's amazing Starbucks rules anyways the question is name a book that you see everywhere. One book that I have recently seen everywhere, I do not mind having seen everywhere because since it was released I think three weeks ago, I have been looking for it, trying to find it and I couldn't and now it's come out in Dubai and now I'm seeing it everywhere and I am so very happy to have seen it everywhere because I bought it at Comic Con of all places. I was at Comic Con, you know, looking at Marvel and all this amazing stuff and there it was and I was like, oh! And since finding it at Comic Con, I have then seen it in all the bookstores and I've seen posters of it and I've seen it all over the internet and it is amazing and that is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi and I am so excited to read this one. I had no idea what it was about, I just heard all the hype 
going on around it. So finally, when I actually just was like, yep, yeah, that's the one, I'm gonna buy it, I read the blurb and the blurb sounds epic and now I get why it has such hype and I cannot wait to get into it. Question six is that hipster coffee shop. Give a shout out to an indie author's book. I'm gonna go with a book that I haven't yet read, but I have read the beginning part of it, like the look inside part of it. I do intend to read it very soon and it is by my editor, Rebecca J. Cox. It is called The Other Inheritance. I'm giving this one a shout out because not only is she a fantastic editor, which makes me believe that the way she probes into the characters' minds in my books, she will do with the characters in her own books, which means it's going to be compelling and captivating, but it also says one girl, two worlds, hunted in both. And that just is amazing to me because as we all know, I love other worlds. Question seven is... Oops, I accidentally got decap. And that question is, name a book that you're expecting more from. For me, that was Stealing Snow by Danielle Page. I've heard such great things about this book, and it's a Snow Queen retelling, which sounds so interesting, and it starts with the main character in a mental asylum, which just got me straight away. But then as the story progressed, it kind of it kind of felt like a decaf from what I was expecting to experience. Question eight is the perfect blend. Name a book or series that was both bitter and sweet, but ultimately satisfying. There are a few series out there that have given me that bitter, sweet, but ultimately satisfying feeling, two of which I have mentioned in this tag, Legend and Harry Potter, but one that comes to mind that I haven't mentioned in this tag yet is definitely the Grisha Trilogy by Leigh Bardugo. So much happens in this book. You care for characters, you care for good guys, you care for bad guys, it's all kookiness, and it's ultimately satisfying, but it's also got some very bitter moments and some things and you just, I tell ya, The Grisha Trilogy is definitely a bitter sweet series. And that is all for the coffee book tag. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And as always, I type you guys to do it too. Also, let me know in the comments below. Do you like coffee? Do you like tea? Which one do you prefer? Do you prefer any? Do you drink any? Let me know. And until next time, I'll see you. Bye!